Hey y'all! So today I'm going to be going through my Hobonichi, which is over here. Hold on. Oops. Okay, well, noise. So here's my Hobonichi. I just have this cute little coffee espresso machine clip on it. I'm also going to open this soda because I drank all my tea and I need something to drink. When I first got this, I had planned on using it as two things, as my planner and my daily journal. However, um, I just realized that using it for my planner was not going to work. Um, so I kind of use it as like a to-do list some days, a daily journal some days. And I really, really thought doing it and, and telling myself I was going to do it day by day. So like if it's January 22nd, then I'm going to use it January 22nd did not happen way too much to put on myself but i decided to go um through it with you guys to show you what i did do i think i did about half a year yeah about half a year so let's just get into it um so when you open it i just have some like leftover stickers here and then there's like a little folder of stickers in here that i just decorated if you open it there's some stickers i've used a lot of them so it's almost empty flip it nothing back here and then I just decorated the Hobonichi itself so then I just did a little cute um smiley face stamp with the month I started it because I'm pretty sure this is the spring edition yes yeah, the spring edition so I didn't actually do a whole six months if you really think about it um first page I just put like a very um small quote and then this leftover sticker I got from Vigilante Coffee in Maryland because this was a spring edition um, I did not have anything to put here so I just put these two plants here because I had nothing else for it and then I started to do the keys as you can see there's some days that are missing I was using it at first and of course July came and I just did not do the other months but I was using it as a key, so like whatever I named that day, I put it on here. So normally one half would be like my to-do list or my planning, and then the other half would be my daily writing. So whatever the daily writing part was, I named it here. And then I also like had each month have a different color, so and then like a different little drawing. So February, of course, had like a little heart balloon for Valentine's Day. March had a clover. Um, April had a heart again. I don't really know why. Um, May had a flower. June had the sun. July had firework. August had an um, ocean. I think because of the summer I turned pretty, to be honest. Maybe that's the reason why. And of course, I didn't do these because I didn't get to finish. Um, I did somewhat use these in the beginning especially when I was in school so for my discussion boards and all those things for school and then to like record videos to uh my book club stuff I was really doing it at first and then you know it stopped after I left school to be honest so the other days aren't really you know anything so let's just move on to the actual months so um i didn't know what to put on this first page so i just put like a couple stickers and since this was purple i wrote this in purple and this is an earth song which is a poem by langston hughes an affirmation for the month and a little note to myself so in the beginning i was trying my best to kind of give myself a little bit of leeway with this. So sometimes I would do just daily journals and other times I would do like little to-do lists. Um, for this one, I think it was just a daily journal period. And I just printed out a couple of pictures that I took that um, week. So I went to the museum with my sister and I just took some pictures from that and I made it into a collage. I can barely see the collage, but whatever. Um, this one too, just another daily journal. I think I was just bored, so I kind of like sketched some mountains and some trees back there. Okay, here's when I really started to like div divvy up the days and where I'm putting stuff. So like you can see I added some uh, lines here and here. 
so I like edit digital diary, read an hour, um, charge my Kindle, like little things. And then I would do like my daily journal here and my daily journal here. And then I would just decorate it. Normally I would decorate it first, then I would write. That way I could um, see where I could write and how much space I needed to write. Um, here I was still trying to figure out where I wanted to go with this. And I think in the upcoming month of April, I was really getting into the swing of how I wanted things. So like the purple, I almost always did, like the colors were like song lyrics. Um, and a lot of times the title would be a song lyric, um, just because, I don't know, I wanted to do that. Um, and sometimes like here, I divvied it up so I could like have my daily journal here and maybe a few notes here. Same thing was over here. Um, what I need to do for the day, some song lyrics, and daily journal. And I honestly, that's kind of like the system I was going for for a while. Just, you know, giving myself some time in the daily journal, giving myself like a little to-do list at the top, um, or if it's not a to-do list, I'll just like write sentences of things I wanted to do. I actually really like this page. I think the black and pink are really cute and honestly just my aesthetic in a general sense um this day was completely just planning uh because i remember it was coming up on um uh, my book clubs uh weekend like girls weekend that we had at our friend's house one of our other members of our book club so i was really getting into detail about what i was going to do then and then i was like going through like songs i was playing at the moment and uh just like that were in my head a lot so I also did that. This one is probably my favorite page. Um, one of them at least, but it's, it's very high up there. I just started like moving things around and trying to figure out what worked for me. So here I did like little brackets and then pointed here to tell myself this connects to this. And I was watching this one drama and one of the songs is called My Shining Star. So I just wrote that as my shining star. And I just think this one's really pretty. Then there were days where I did not plan at all, like this day. Um, and I literally even put, didn't really give this much thought. So there are also pages like that. And as you can see, the um, same thing kind of applies to a lot of places. Like I'll just like list some things, daily journal, some days. Sometimes I'll put pictures of myself for things that happened. This was completely the weekend for our little girls retreat and so I didn't do any planning I just put pictures of like food we ate and um then the next page I think is Taylor Swift's yep era's tour and the BBC weekend so I kind of just closed out talking about it because I really did not plan anything because everything was kind of set in stone and then coming back um from that it was hard for me to plan and so I just kept on daily journaling daily journaling every day and this is another one of the days that I really liked because I think this is kind of when I started to do the highlighting and then writing over it. So it's the same things that are being said, but I just wanted like a little bit of difference in the colors. So I started doing highlighter and then writing over it, which I thought was really cute. Okay, so as April winded down, I started doing like my favorite things that happened in April, like my BPC weekend, which is Black Bros Club. That's the name of our book club. Uh, and I was just like labeling how April was really nice and everything. I did not love this, like this whole thing. I think I did something at the back and regretted it and I just did not know what to do. So I kind of hate this. Uh, and then I started doing daily to do's. And I think this is when I kind of removed myself from planning. This is um, there's gonna be a blip in that audio because I burped and I wanna remove that, so. <laughs> Um, this is when I did daily to-dos and I kind of removed myself from doing conventional planning in here just because I didn't think it was working for me. So again, I went back to my old faithful, which is doing a little bit of daily journaling and a little bit of to-do list here and there and keeping that up for a good amount of time. It was kind of hard to sometimes do it because I would sometimes not even think to open this. So I would write out my to-dos in the early day like this and then I would do like my brain dump or whatever and then I would forget to come back to it so that happens a lot another day of just daily journaling is here 
um i missed two days so i just put a couple of things so this is my trader joe's tag from one of the cute little bags that they have this is the pickle bag one of my favorites i just love this line and this is a um receipt from a coffee place that my mom love so more daily journals i don't have much to say about that because i think it's self-explanatory and whenever you see this that just means i did not go that day and i did not do anything in this journal i mean it's planner at all so there's that and then i remember taking these pictures because i really liked the way this one journal came out and i just love these <laughs> walmart pants i bought another time where i like pre-decorated hoping i would come back to to um write in it and i did not same thing was this day um went back to doing to-do list and brain dumps this is one of my old old thank you cards from my shop i still love this look and i think i'll keep it traditionally like this with my emblem because my emblem does not change um but a little bit differently these days but i think this is really cute um another to-do list just a random page because i had nothing else to do in it same thing with this one and then i have days where i just kind of stop and don't do anything then i come back to-do list brain dumps all that i tried my best i think to do it um, as much as I can and I did like affirmations habits I want to try um, this was Memorial Day so I was just like thinking doing all the things we were going to do I, at this point I had went to Maryland to visit my mom so I was trying to keep a record of everything I wanted to do so again to-do list brain dump all brain dump and now we're in June so this one isn't as bad but I still don't love it um but i'm back to planning or at the very least doing to-do lists and brain dumps as much as you know i want to and it does start dwindling kind of from here because i don't have that much page left but it was genuinely i just i tried and i tried another trader joe's one this is the sardine one also love this one because i love sardines and people always laugh at me but i really like sardines but i actually think they're really good so there's that I have a library receipt um i tried to pick back up on it um using this in june it really wasn't working even when i tried to pre-plan out like this i just wasn't feeling it and i was realizing that maybe the hubanichi was not the place for me to use a planner for just not something that i needed necessarily um so a lot of these pages are just me starting up and me not finishing or me just pasting stuff in because I just I just did not have the feeling to do anything like you see page after page of nothing and then all of a sudden I click put down what I got done and a little bit of brain dumps and stuff like that and then month seven came and I told myself I would jump back in to month seven but obviously I did not because it just it didn't happen so much so I don't even remember this like at all and again to-do list I was trying to get back in the swing of things this is pretty actually um, and every time I would just burn out again because I just realized the Hobonichi as much as I love them and I and I do love the Hobonichi a lot I realized that it just was not for me and my planning needs so I just kind of gave up and I started using it solely as a brain dump, a junk journal and stuff like that, which is why it's nice and chunky like this because I kept on pasting stuff in there. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the basis of my Hobonichi this year. I really did want to love using the Hobonichi, but I think what I would do like in a future reference of buying Hobonichi is if I get a bigger one, like maybe maybe a b5 and using it as like a memory keep instead of a planner because it's just not working out for me i actually did get an actual planner this year so i got two i got um this one which is like my social media planner is what i'm calling it um, and i already actually have january scheduled out for everything that i need to do for social media 
And then I have my what one? Then I have my Fobonichi. That's in here. It came a week or two ago. I just forgot to tell you guys. I haven't set this one up because I just I'm waiting for a day to just sit down and be alone and quiet and just figure out my planning necessities for like my day-to-day -day life and not necessarily like I don't want to say frivolous stuff because I don't think my social media is frivolous but like planning out my actual day outside of that because this is just for when I want to record where I'm gonna when I'm gonna post and stuff like that while this is gonna tell me like how that day looks in a bigger sense so yeah that's kind of all i wanted to talk about today um i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye peace out girl scouts